And so your uh, father is Juan. Sí. You're Juan. You have your brother yeah. Juan, and your other brother <laughs> is Juan. Juan. Welcome to the program, everyone. This is Matthew Gossin. This is Man of Conviction. And, well, Barcelona is happening. It is for sure happening. I have a, I put a, a deposit on an apartment. I have a, a plane ticket. A friend of mine's going to be a cameraman, and I'm still looking for a producer-type sort of assistant who can help with uh, digitizing and organizing material. Um, also... I had to hire a sound guy uh, over in Barcelona, which I believe is already a done deal. So that's what's happening uh, in May. So super excited. I'll be talking about that as we get closer. Also, I have uh, applied to be a census taker, more of as an experience just to talk about because I think it could be very interesting and I just want to document my experience doing that um today on the show uh juan alfonso i met this fellow golfing interesting guy originally from the dominican republic he's an actor he's been in a bunch of stuff and he's got this new show that's a replacement called what they call a mid-season replacement on uh abc i think united we fall jane Curtin's in it will sasso J.R. Villarreal, Guillermo Diaz. Um, he also was in American Princess. He was on a show called Mom with Allison Janney, Kevin Pollack. Um, you know, uh, he has a, a part in Marriage Story where he's uh, s- screaming in Spanish at his wife in court. That was him. Um, anyway, I'm really glad to talk to this guy. Please uh, settle in. For a fun interview with Mr. Juan Alfonso. So, uh, we are here with Juan Alfonso. Yo. Yo. I what tried to that? pronounce that appropriately. That was perfect, Thank dude. You. I'm, I'm so thankful there's people like you that respect my name. <laughs> or the Latinness of it. Uh-huh. You know? Thank you. You're, my pleasure. Thanks for, uh, for coming. You are... Um, might be my first... Um, actor that's been on a lot of network stuff that i've had on the show oh, so awesome so this is exciting sweet um maybe let's tell the people where why don't you tell um, where we met yeah, yeah 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 um dude thanks for having me first of all my that's pleasure awesome. um yeah we met at shoal canyon golf course in glendale hills or wherever one of those yeah but yeah man uh, i think through the mutual love of golf we connected and i think that's uh sort of flourished to where we are now and you know, trying to keep that going and which is what this industry is about. Connections. You know, connections. Totally true. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I found out you uh, are, we're, we're just starting a, a, a series and that you, you, you rattled off a couple right. of credits of some stuff you were in. I was like, yeah, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. And I went and, <laughs> I went and looked you up and saw your reel and I was like, yeah. oh, wow, this guy's impressive. He's done all kinds of cool stuff. Thanks, and um, just... Yeah, yeah, glad to have you. So let, what I tell people um, how you got started in yeah. the business. Oh, dude, awesome. Um, you know, I so I, I went to, first of all, I feel like, like comedy and all that stuff has been part of when I first came to this country in, in 92 from Dominican Republic. Throw that in there. Yep. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I came and I fell in love with the, with the, with like, with comedy and just like, you know, oh, that's funny and like impersonations and whatever. So I always like had that, I guess, in in my pocket, as they say. But a bit of a ham, right? Like I guess I, you know, I was. Uh, but being the older son, I think that was the job was to keep the 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 calmness of the family. And if things got crazy, I go do a Jim Carrey impersonation, and you know everybody's laughing now. But you know, I think that's sort of like where 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 it started. But I didn't really dive into it until I was in in college at Azusa Pacific and uh was playing football I was there uh, playing ball and uh freshman year getting through you know did 
did all summer workouts, got started, and then a uh, buddy of mine that I met at the, the, the dorms said, uh, dude, let's let's go out for this musical, dude. Let's just go. We'll just, like, dance around, be funny, because we were sort of class clownish. Uh-huh. So we were like, yeah, dude, let's go just see what happens. So we, like, literally, we took it serious. Like, we prepared. We prepared eight counts of, of a musical, because you had to sing a song, you had to dance, and then you had to do, like, a little scene or something. Uh-huh. So I, you know, we pre- I, we prepared, dude. I did Newsies. I did, I think, King of New York from Newsies, which is a, a, one of my favorite movies. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, dude went in there, for whatever, goofed off, whatever. It was great. Got some laughs, which was what really what we were trying to do. We just get laughs, you know. Um, and the director was like, "Dude, what are what are you doing here?" And I was like, "You know, I'm." Just came out, you know, and thought this would be fun. And I don't know. No, what are you doing here at the university? Like, why aren't you in here? Well, I'm playing football. I don't know. I think you should be acting. Nice. And I said, wow, well, let me, wow. I, you know, I didn't know what to say to that. Nobody's ever been like, you know, you, you know, you sort of go through life doing your own thing and figuring out. But when somebody sees something and they say, that sort of has an impact on you. You think seriously about right, it. You, right. Well, well, nobody said that. Although people have been like, oh, you're funny. Whatever. Anyway took a week about it prayed about it you know talked to my my family about it and uh went up to my coach i walked in there i was like hey i think i'm i'm hanging him up and i'm gonna pursue this theater thing and he uh he looked at me and was like what (laughs) you're gonna do theater you're gonna leave football for theater are you okay son you know like yes coach i'm fine you know it was uh something that you know let's give it a shot he cast me and that was sort of the beginning. Yeah. And I did a few plays at Azusa. Another sort of God thing was my friend's mom was living with who was my agent, who is still my agent now for 17 years, was they were roommates here in L.A. And he was like, dude, my mom lives with this agent. We should go read for her. Wow. And yeah. And we prepared like a little 30 second monologue. She signed us that day. And uh, I've been doing it ever since. That's great. Dude, that's crazy. I haven't said that story out loud in a long time. Wow, okay, very cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, that's sort of the where it started. Mm-hmm. And uh, recently uh, you joined a show mm-hmm. uh, that's a mid-season replacement right, that's right. coming out very soon. ABC, right, which is so cool. Like, it's stuff that you you dream about, really, you know, like... I don't know. Any work is great as an actor. You're like, yes, okay, work, you know, but I think as like you, as, as you get going and, and dreams sort of start being tangible where you're like, oh, I can see it. I can like actually touch that. I'm, you know, I'm, oh, wow, I'm here. Um, that, I think that's the, the coolest part because in my head, I've been there. I've already done the shows. I've already accepted the award as they say but you know what i mean i've already so it's no, nothing's new i guess you've played it out I, in your I head played already. it out and, and i put in the work it's not like i'm some actor who's like i deserve to be here it's like no dude like you know like tom hanks said you know just be on time yep. show up on time <laughs> that's you most know? of it isn't yeah, it <laughs> yeah just do your work and be on time you know and that's what i've been trying to do for 17 years and and it's all leading sort of to where we are today and i'm excited for sort of this year and what's to come but yeah about the show united we fall uh-huh um like you said starting jane curran as the grandmother of the stars of the show where will, will sasso plays the husband he plays um plays bill and uh christina vidal plays joe uh-huh uh she's amazing he's obviously will <laughs> will sasso um and uh I get to play the younger brother, but uh, Guillermo Diaz from from Scandal. Hook. Right, right. He plays my older brother. That's so cool. I know, and he's the best. He's like the funniest dude. You're like, bro, people are going to trip when they see you in this role, you know, because you went from such a dark, you know, to now this comedic, you know, older brother, uh, you know, just uptight Catholic to the most, you know, just it's going to be great. And you shot all, done. how many did you shoot? We did, we did, it's seven episodes. Uh-huh seven yeah seven um and i did four nice which was great um sort of the introduction of these brothers and because it's about their life but you know we're part of it and uh typical latino family not typical but you know i mean maybe you know she has nine brothers and she's the only girl so we're sort of like you know our father left with this company and we you know i play the younger brother but i have a twin 
right. played by J.R. Villarreal, which is he's, he's an awesome actor, uh, great dude. He, he grew up, you know, uh, um, in, in the movie scene and, you know, as a young actor and sort of making his way now into into uh, this television realm and, and doing really good work. And, uh, yeah, he plays my, my twin brother. Um, so, yeah, we're sort of like the deadbeats of the family, like no work, but we want the paycheck, you know? What right, I mean? right. Like, yeah, like every... Uh, I don't know, younger brother, maybe. <laughs> I look really look forward to seeing that, absolutely. Dude, it's yep. going to be great. I mean, I feel like I was learning from masters of comedy. You know, Jane Curtin. I mean, it's crazy. When you're around good people, they mm-hmm. bring you up. It's like golf. You got to play with people who are better. So true. Yeah, because you're trying to get better. Yeah. Like, no joke, Jane Curtin was on like like we would riff or something you know before before rehearsals or before like live tape and she was just like riffing like yo i mean i was like man this is a, this is amazing this is amazing like just it was it was a dream dude that's so, so great yeah it was great and i can't wait for people to see it because i feel like they're going to connect with it you know it's it's current and and it, the writing's just good it's just funny you know from from it's uh, you know uh yeah, the creators are great, producers are great. It's gonna be awesome. And you're gonna have a lot of material for your reel. Yeah, yeah, right. That's what you need now as an actor. <laughs> well, I guess you've always needed it, but well, to, and you, to be taken serious. You, you know where to come when you need to to cut that together. Oh yeah, that's my thing. You know? This is you. I'm this an editor. Is, oh, I knew that, but I yeah. That, I mean, that, I can that, do. That I can, small scale. It is I small scale, know. but I'd love to do that sort of stuff. Oh, anyway, dude, so. that'd be awesome. Oh, I'd love yeah, to do it. I have a guy who like he he rips. I mean, he. Legally, of course, copies, uh huh, uh huh, through the right <laughs> avenues, uh huh, of course, and uh, yeah, and he just like cuts them up. But dude, I would love to send you stuff, maybe yeah. see what you come up with. <laughs> yeah, I'd, lo- I'd love to give it a whirl. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, with a reel, you can use any music you want. You can, you know, c- interesting. Who cares? I've never done. I've never ventured into that aspect of a reel. I've always just used the scenes and try to we, you know, weave in and out of them. I don't know. When you have a lot of stuff, it and It'll like even a, like a just an appearance, a walk by, or a head yeah. turn, or one line, or a, sure. or whatever, you save those, and you have like I don't know a couple three sound ups of some different scenes, and then in between, a cool montage uh, of just looks from different, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you put some music underneath it, and then you're like, oh, oh that because they don't know how long you were on that sh- this snippet that you did. No, right. th- there he is it without be, the beard, right. or there he is sure. uh, without a shirt on, or there yeah. he is uh, it, being a paramedic. Or, right, yeah. right. That's so funny, dude. <laughs> you, know, you, know, I did, you know, I did American Princess, which was an awesome show uh-huh. with Jamie Dembo uh-huh. and Jenji Cohen, and, you know, bless her, she's going through a tough time, and, you know, if anyone listens, I'm, you know, praying for you, and, you know, and, and your family right now. We love you. Genji. Yeah, Genji. Yeah. Lost her son. Um, but, yeah. But, dude, just such a great experience with, with the show and the people that, that were on it and the people we met. But a funny story about the paramedic was when I first sh- sort of showed up for my fitting and, and sort of meeting all the writers and, and all that stuff. It was, like, my first day on set. Um, and uh, they called me in, and she was like, you know, man – we're so thankful you're here. We almost cut this role. We were we looked everywhere for this guy. I mean, through we they went through all the major, you know, they she went through all the major uh, uh, agencies and all that. And you know, I'm with this little boutique great agency, but you know, we're not at that level. Uh huh. Um, but yeah, she was like, I remember getting your tape and being like. <laughs> paramedic 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 cop paramedic you know like, <laughs> yeah. you know, like and i was like well you know every actor has to do those i'm sorry if you're like a dude or even like a you know if, and if you're coming up you're doing the cop and all the blue collar roles are you know that's who they're trusting yep with it is people who work and then you it's just eventually you have to get out of it you gotta pay your dues you have to pay your dues yeah you know and it is what it is and it's all learning for me i'm of course like, <laughs> are you kidding me sure you want me to stand here and say hello? Okay. Yep. Who are we meeting today? You know? Exactly. Great. So do you have any fun sort of on-set mm. stories or like... I'll give you a good learning maybe. Oh, like please. That's, that's great. You know, um, I was doing mom. I was doing a little uh, guess on mom. We were going to do my scene 
live black box style i'd never done that in live studio i was like oh this is new and but you gotta act like you've been there before you know S explain that to the to the audience okay black so box. okay so basically it's like a stripped down version they'll show the audience a scene like on a live tape they'll show them how the scene came out and then just for fun and even to fill time or just to show the audience how how we shot it we'll do it live for them in sort of in like a black box style which is like a small theater feel with no no props or anything it's just to show them you know we'll show we'll act out the scene for them basically Great. so it was myself kevin pollock who's amazing sure and um and the amazing um alice and janny who is just a, a beacon of light and kindness i bet um and she was so sweet to me you know here's this like guy kid who's like just getting in you know chuck Lorre's talking to me and i'm like what's going on here uh -huh. you know um but it was it was it was really cool but i had a, a moment where i didn't know i had to get their their attention they're in a car making out and i'm sure it's in in the real but they're in a car making out and i sort of come into them and in the shot i bump on the window to get their attention but in this scene black box are on a couch you know we're acting you know sure. so it's like how do i and i asked him i'm like dude how do i how do i do he's like hey just knock on the couch and i'll look over at you and i was like oh okay good and he's you know and just little things like that that just just sort of like i don't know just help you relax i bet and you just like you know the the advice that he gave me you know just keep doing it and and he told me this he was like you're gonna appreciate you know your journey and like where you end up a lot more than someone who like grew up in this industry and was given it you know like just know that it's all worth it and i was like man thank you i, I appreciate that that's so, great thank you kevin <laughs> it was awesome so let's uh talk about that part you had in marriage story mm -hmm. uh noah Baumbach's right. movie um awesome yeah tell me about that yeah such a cool experience you know um even the whole process of auditioning you know for this sort of improvised scene but also with a little bit of you know texture with it that he wanted because it could have probably easily gone to maybe some extras but he's very he knew exactly what he wanted in that scene and what the audience was going to see and what you're seeing in a courthouse and what happens in a courthouse so the process of auditioning was cool and um you know getting to yell in spanish and uh and you know having you know argument with 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 your wife um in a courthouse so all that but but yeah i mean uh, the experience itself uh was great seeing how scarlett johansson and you know adam driver prepare and how they do their thing and how kind they are i mean laura dern was so sweet and after i after shooting a little bit she she came up to me was like man it's so nice seeing you, you know, on, on camera. And I'm like, thank you. You know, just like little things that she didn't have to say that, or I don't know. It, it was, it was really cool and seeing the whole process of putting it together um, and how Noah works and, you know, very, he's very unique in his way of, of directing, which is really cool. Like, what does he do? That's interesting. You know, I think you're so used to the, the, the common, you know, camera action, you know, but he's very, I think he just lets you get into it. Yeah, you know, are you ready? Yeah, start. Go ahead yeah, and start so, when you're ready. Yeah, uh, that's totally. What Clint Eastwood does too. Right. Yeah, yeah. I've heard. Yes, yeah. I've heard that. And Noah was very nice about that. You know, sort of letting you flow into it. And and I think that's great because you can cut wherever you can edit. You know, so getting that natural sort of intro or whatever into your or moment before or whatever mm -hmm. he lets you have that, which is cool. At what point in the film does your scene appear? So it's like towards the end. So you're going to go through a whole roller coaster of emotions. And then you sort of find me and my wife going through the same thing that you just watched, but in the courthouse getting, you know, sort of, so it's sort of like, you know, they're watching it all over again. Like she's seeing this and, you know, how did we get here? Okay. You know, so it's, yeah. uh, the subject matter of the film is so intense that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i don't know that i want to watch i don't know that i want to watch I don't, it i mean i don't blame you but i want to see your scene so i'm gonna i'm gonna <laughs> seriously i'm gonna go down like an hour in and then start fast forwarding and sure. looking and, and find sure. it and watch your scene for okay. sure okay yeah. you sound like every actor i know like <laughs> they only watch their scenes it's like yeah like you know people ask me like oh do you do you watch you know i don't know scorpion or whatever or shows that i've done and it's like honestly you know unless i'm in it it's there's so much stuff out there and we're, we, we sort of do it. So it's like, it's, 
I don't know. It's hard for me to get into something. I don't know. I just get into my wife watches, so I end up like really getting into the shows she watches. What, what, <laughs> which is what do you look? What are you guys watching these days? I mean, what what did we finish? We've done all the Marvel, Jessica Jones, and the and the the, the strong guy, Luke Cage. Uh-huh. Uh huh. We did the the boys on Netflix. You know, the new one, the boys, like the superhero ones, where they're like not good people i don't know I it's get, pretty I, interesting okay. gotta, yeah yeah seth rogan produced and, oh okay yeah it's pretty cool it's like an interesting concept that's why I, I, was, I was into it um we just did you which i guess a lot of you know it's getting a lot of you know positive feedback um stranger things uh -huh. all those things yeah my wife is in she's up to date dude we started to watch the americans Oh, I haven't even uh, uh, begun. Some, to... It's really good. Yeah, I heard it's amazing because it's on real people, right? The the, the or or a real. Oh, was it happened? based on? Oh, I didn't know. Maybe that. like this who they who lived here and they were the ones that were the spies. It makes or... sense. I mean, that's what's going on. But yeah, I didn't know it's based on. I a might real have thing. heard it from someone. So I don't know. Don't quote me. It's but... for sure very interesting. Yeah, and uh, I, I I came in kind of like towards the end of the first season, and I started watching with my wife, and now. We're, you're in it we have a commitment now to oh, watch man. this yeah dude good luck bro <laughs> we did handmaid's tale yeah great i mean we, we've done i mean we i guess you know whatever the the talked about shows i actually started watching Shit's creek by myself i just actually i started at the dentist uh -huh. watching it you know where they're like do you want to watch anything i'm like yeah let's put that on uh-huh so i started watching that and now i'm through some of yeah i got through one season and very funny, funny dude oh yep. my god yeah so good yeah, there's so many shows, bro. You know, even our show was so great, American Princess, and we didn't get picked up for a second season. And I thought it was great. You know, maybe just maybe network wasn't right, or I don't know, but it was great. The numbers, it's all about it's those all numbers, friggin dude. Ratings, it's crazy, dude. It really, I mean, and they give you numbers like, no, you have to hit five hundred thousand viewers. Yeah, it's like it's a requirement, or we have to cancel. You. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a trip, dude. It's a trip. <laughs> but some, which was great about you. I don't think they had a very good first, but they had an option maybe to like you know to be shopped after first season. Okay, they got picked up right away. It was great, dude. It's like, and it's great, great show. I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen that one. I've... Yeah, I mean, it's interesting, very interesting. So let's talk about um, the Dominican Republic. Oh, okay. You were born there, yeah, and came at the age of nine. Nine, nine. yeah, and yeah, I'm 26 now, so. <laughs> and just kidding <laughs> you're a little older than that uh, you uh didn't speak english when right. you got here right not no a word english, not a word and um and hit school hard mm -hmm. and the spanish was always spoken at home see what would, would you say in a year you were like all right i'm i'm rocking or even less probably less yeah i think you're right i think by a year we had a pretty good hold of it because we had to like you said, it was like at at the house, you know, I, I sort of give my parents a lot of credit because they were very adamant on like, OK, no Spanish. We're watching, you know, videos and we had tons of like cassette, uh, you know, VHS yeah. videos. So we would watch everything. I mean, we would get like all, you know, because through the church, we would get all these sort of like hand me down. Right. Things, you know what I mean? So we had we had tapes from, you know, every Every freaking like '90s movie, all the Ninja Turtles, you know, Surf Ninjas, all these like movies that maybe most people don't know, but we had them all, and we would memorize. You know, we had all the Boys to Men tracks. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like, we we had you know, but but yeah, we we actually a lot of the English was learned through that. I think you probably came right at the one like a late. I guess it can happen later too, but because you know you have zero access. Right. You right. have no accent. I get that a lot from yeah. people who come from from another country. Yeah. And so, yeah, that's to me that's interesting that you you're you were able to pull that off. And and when you speak Spanish, obviously, turn it on, and you 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 have two personalities almost, it, if you dude, will. Dude, I feel yeah. like I'm just doing an accent. Like honestly, I feel like my whole life has just been like <laughs> act like doing a bit, like doing like an accent. Like, <laughs> like I'm doing this American character dude, right I now. I do this, bro. I do this great. <laughs> but I really sound like this, you know. If I really wanted to talk, you know, no, no, but, no, no. But you know what I mean. Like, but I feel like, you know, you're forced to because I grew up in Orange County, so it was like a lot of white people. Yeah. 
you know, don't get me wrong. We had my Latinos, you know, I had my Mexican friends, my Salvadorian friends, my Ecuadorian friends, you know, so I had this, this great group of people that we sort of stuck together because Spanish was our common denominator. Nobody knew where the hell the DR was. Sure. They were like, oh, what part of Mexico is that? And you're like, oh my God, (laughs) these people are crazy. You know, like, oh, do you speak Mexican? It's like, oh man. Yeah. It's tough. But you, you know, and that's a lot of, you know, just, just, just ignorance, I guess. But, um, but yeah, dude, I think we were just forced to, to sort of pick it up and, and go because I have a cousin that came at fourteen, and he has a Dominican accent. I was going to say, yeah, when uh, that's kind of the cut. Right. Maybe you can do it at twelve. Twelve, maybe right. But you start the brain starts to like mm-hmm. close it down as far as that See? acceptability of it. And you, but you, yeah, you. you I got away with you it. Got away it was, with it. It was a perfect time. Yeah, yeah, and 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 it's crazy because I got to keep both yeah. languages. Because my brother, who was born here, the youngest one, because my the middle one and I were born in the DR. The youngest one was born here. He's about nine years you know part Uh and uh his spanish is sort of a little you know sort of like if you were a spanish person learning english right yeah so but but he gets away with it he does a good job and he's working on it and and he's pursuing the art so and so your uh father is juan you're you're juan you have your brother juan and your other brother is juan (laughs) Juan, so and so they had to distinguish juan alfonso what juan alberto or Juan Alejandro, Alejandro, y Juan Abdias. Juan Ab- Abdias, Abdias, Abdias. Yeah, which is Ob- Obadiah. Oh, okay, yeah. Abdias. Oh, yeah. cool, nice. Yeah, and uh, my dad's Juan Bautista. Bautista. Avila. Okay. And so, yeah, it was like a thing where they didn't know what to do, so <laughs> they just. My dad was like, "All right, you're all getting my name," and then mom got to choose the middle one. So I got my grandfather's name. Um, <laughs> my brother got my great grandfather's name, Alejandro, and Abdias got a biblical. Yeah, nice. younger brother name. Yeah. So, like in in the house, is it? Hey, Juanote, Juanite. Hey, <laughs> yeah, Juanajuato. <laughs> right. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, definitely. Like it was like I'm Juanchi. 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 Okay. My brother's Juanel. Uh-huh. You know, they, they yeah, <laughs> th- th- we were like yeah, th- those were our nicknames in the DR. Um, yeah. So, but but I go by Juan. My brother goes by Alex. He doesn't go by Juan. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And so he goes, yeah, Alex Guerrero. Um, and then, uh, my youngest, the youngest goes by Juan. Um, yeah. Juan, Juan of Diaz is a stage name now. So. Uh-huh. And is, he's acting too? Yeah. He's following in, in my footsteps. Nice. Yeah. Did you get him an agent? Yeah. Yeah. We signed him up. He's done a couple commercials. I actually just got him a little short film that I got called about. And now I, you know, I think I, I honestly, when I read it, I thought about my brother. So I, I pitched my brother to them and they were like, dude, yes, let, let me. So anyway, he's gonna be doing that um, in a couple a couple of weeks, working with this great director. Um, something they want to shop for like film festivals. It's for to get a budget. I mean, I don't know the the routine now. I don't know these the minimum on independent films now. What's an indie? What's you know they're trying to get five million. I guess that's good. You know, for the indie route. Wow, um, sounds I like I could. God, give me five million. I could do a lot with five okay. million. Okay, <laughs> yeah, dude, that's <laughs> wow. what I'm saying. It's like I, you know, so that's what they're doing this little short to try to get. I think they have the funding, but they got to show them, give them the movie package. Here, what it's about, type mm-hmm. of thing. Yeah, um, yeah, dude. Uh, what did what did I? What am I going to talk about? Um, my brothers. Yeah, please. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right, because of how we were learning English, watching tapes. We can go back to this. Yes. Um, the VHS tape. So we had a lot of the, like, um, like uh, Super Bowl, uh, like like uh, uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, like 1970s, like like NFL, like football run for that year, like uh-huh. Super Bowl run. Uh-huh. You know, so we would be watching these tapes of, like, you know, Terry Bradshaw back to Lynn Swan for the catch, you know, like learning, like, you know, we'd be like, you know, like learning English, watching some reporter from the fifties talking. So That's we so were, we would show up to school like, uh, what are you doing? Huh? Like, what do you, <laughs> what's that teacher? See, you know, it was great. Just, uh, I love it. Yeah. Like learning, learning, you know, English through, through the NFL, which was great. Cause then my brother made it to the NFL, which is crazy that he, he fell in love with it <laughs> through that. And uh, what team does he play for? He was at Boise State and then went to the NFL in 06 and ended up with, with the Vikings for a year, this practice squad, then went to, like, uh, Europe. He did the NFL Europe, uh-huh. Canada, and then hung him up, and now he's he's uh, he runs – he has his own little, like, firm where he, he you know, he's, he manages athletes, basically, their branding and their 
PR almost. Yeah. What was Great. his position? What did he play? He's a D tackle, dude. He's uh -huh. a big boy, dude. And I honestly, when he was, because he was, he was like the Chiefs got him first. Then he went to the Seahaw Seahawks in that same year, stayed there, and I think, I think then went to to the Vikings. But dude, by the time he got to the Vikings, he was like three hundred pounds. But he was fast, which was he had great feet. wasn't the tallest dude for a D tackle, but you know he was he was fast, and he you know they got him up. But you know now he's 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 down now. <laughs> now he's a regular person. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it would be painful to run into somebody like oh, him. Oh, dude, we played together in high school. I, one time I had a freaking go one on one with him. I had a running play down the middle, and here comes my brother, and I'm like, dude, or, or vice versa. Maybe he they they would put him at fullback sometimes. Uh huh. That's what it was. They would put my brother at fullback sometimes, at like on special plays, and I was a line like an outside linebacker. And so one play, he coming up the middle, dude, and just like the the sea just parted, dude, and he's like coming right at me. I'm like, oh my god, and he was like 270 then, oh. and I'm like, yeah, I'm like 180. I'm like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? So I just went low, dude. I just all I could do was try to grab one of his legs. Did you get him? Yeah, I mean. I think after a while, a couple other people jumped on him. Uh -huh. Yeah, but he trucked me. I mean, I felt that, dude. Oh, Never again. <laughs> like, this sport's not for me. Yeah, the, there's a pain factor that's... Uh, it, it's better acting, you can you can pretend. Yes. There's some pretending. Yeah, and they'll give they'll give you a, a double that looks kind of like you. Totally. To take it. Yeah, you know? like You're like, okay, that's fine. You know, I'm going to sit this one out. Yeah, yeah, go <laughs> ahead and... Uh, I actually I did my own on, on one little fight scene in Billy Boy this 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 indie uh, uh -huh. that I did which was great directed by Brad Beaker um awesome dude and uh yeah it was it was rad I got to like get beat up and like and had a stunt dude showing me how to like turn on it and it was cool I learned a lot I learned a lot that day like the person receiving the punch controls the punch, right? In the in the, in a stunt situation, right? Like you're right. letting them. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yes. In a sense, yes. You're letting yes. them know, hit me now, yeah. sort of with your eyes. Yeah. 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 And two uh, camera placement, obviously. You know, everything's cheated, so it's like depending on what camera angle they're doing it from depends on. Excuse me. The type of punch that they'll be throwing. So that the camera can't see that he's really not making contact, but if you do it. Right, boy, it looks real. You put a thump in there, and, dude. Yeah, I'm telling you. What else? What else could we talk about? Golf. Yeah, like yeah. I, I can't wait to to get back out dude, there, dude. I've been doing lessons, bro. Oh, I, I, and if anyone's listening, Wade is Wade. He the guy. Yes. Yeah, I Wade know and Shoal. I want to. I want to start get back again. It's been cold, and I I, I got to get back into it. And I, I feel paying, you. I'm paying that players' club thing. I should still, bro. I should, I should, you should. I, I yeah. gotta. I gotta. Keep Have you been going out to at least play? No, not even. Nope. Okay. Well, dude, like, honestly, like, yeah, get lessons. Yeah. If, if, like, you're starting, like, just do it and put the, it's going to be a freaking long ass journey. But, you know, because people watch golf and think, oh, I want to do what Tiger does or what these pros are doing. Like, he's, he's just swinging at it. <laughs> I laugh just thinking about it. So much because involved. Because there's so much involved and so much work, and you don't know the thousands of hours they've put into it. You know, so it's like anything, but commitment. Yeah, commitment. So I'm in that, dude. I've been doing lessons, and I'm finally seeing light at the at the end of the tunnel. And um, yeah, I'm just. You know, my wife's pregnant, right? We're, we're expecting our first baby. Felicidades. Gracias, gracias. Sí, el primero. Oh man. Pero. You so know, you, great, you dude. Know, everything's happening now. Then my eyesight's gonna go. So I'm clearly getting old. <laughs> uh, when <laughs> is when is the baby coming? April 29th is the due date. Yeah. Baby boy, oh yeah. man, I'm pumped, man. Dude, it's, it's so gonna great. be awesome. Yeah, your your awesome. your life will you know change drastically, and yeah. there'll be like two three years of like fuck, it's the sleep yeah. situation. But then, it, oh boy, does it start to just get great. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, man. Oh, it's, I'm, I'm I'm pumped for, you know, for all of it. You know, and experience. You don't care about the crying because it's yours. Yeah. You don't care about changing the diapers because it's yours. Right. And you don't care that you're bothering people in a restaurant. I mean, yeah. sure, you want to try and keep them quiet, but... You, Everybody has had... Yeah, they get it. You, you have you, to understand. You start to really... It's amazing how you change. Yeah, you don't give a... <laughs> no. Yeah, right. You're like, sorry, <laughs> not. Yep. You've had kids, ma'am. You're like 85. You've you've been here. <laughs> you knew this is coming. You this know, is, Karen. Yeah, if you don't like you yeah. know, family restaurants, don't go to family don't restaurants. Don't go to family <laughs> restaurants. Yeah, get your own. Get your own restaurant. Jeez. 
let's wrap it up, man. Yeah, for um, sure. Thank you so much for coming. Of really course. great conversation. Dude, thanks for not making me talk about weird stuff. This okay. is this is awesome. Okay, yeah, it was <laughs> you know, sometimes you get blindsided. You'll go to an interview and people are like, you know, you know, so what? Are you gay now? You did a gay scene. You know, like, <laughs> you know, like No, I you know, <clears throat> I don't know if you was you kissed a guy or you were like yeah. in, a, in, a, in one of your uh, yeah. thing, and I thought, look at him, he's a uh, he's an actor. I'm mm-hmm. an actor. Do what you do. I yeah. played a murderer. Nobody yeah. cared. Right. Play one gay dude. Yeah. Freaking people freak out. Yeah. It's like what the heck? Relax. I'm not gonna turn gay. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it was great because you know my my scene partner played by Rory O'Malley, one of the you know most amazing kind you know humans and 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 just great actor. Um, he was so great during the whole process and it was just so normal and nothing weird and and we all you know he's married he has his husband i have my you know we're good yeah you know everyone's we're working yeah you're you're working (laughs) you say thanks and you know yeah yeah, you move on and but no yeah it was an experience just like any other like i was just there to work i don't know how you know it's cool when you know you're an artist and such things don't is, aren't, aren't issues at all i mean never you're, even thought about it yeah but, you're you're, yeah. you're comfortable you know in your sexuality you you know right. you like women and right but you can pretend for a moment to like a guy and yeah guess what or pretend that it's a girl and or, it's or, or whatever works yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and it's certainly not gonna nothing's gonna happen to yeah you. i didn't go home and go <laughs> honey you know i tried this thing and i think i'm uh been playing the wrong side <laughs> rory is amazing yeah, he's the best <laughs> I'm sorry, Rory. You're gonna have to leave your dude. <laughs> no, I love them. They're the best. Well, um, let's. Um, We're gonna say the Pledge would, of Allegiance. Or I would, no, I was gonna say um, let's let's um, wrap it up and make out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. <laughs> Thanks, awesome, dude. Awesome, man. Thanks for having me, dude. Talk to you later. So, muchísimas gracias to my friend Juan Alfonso for hanging out. We had a good time chatting it up and I'll see you out there on the links my friend nos vemos pronto thanks for hanging out and um, you know if you're still here then that's amazing sorry it took uh, an extra few days to get this one out I was just uh, occupied with other stuff but here it is man here it is and if you subscribe to Patreon uh, there's some cool stickers I dare you. It's uh, real easy to do and uh, so rewarding. Ciao.